Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created sidebar and sign up user page with reactive form in our Angular application. And in today's video, we will write the code to call the sign up API in our auth service and register component. So let's get started. So in our Angular application, first of all, we need to create services folder and auth service. And to do this, we will right click on our auth folder and we will choose new folder and we will name this folder as services. And after this, we will right click on this services folder and we will choose new folder and we will name this folder as auth. And after this, let's right click on this auth folder and let's open it in integrated terminal. And here we need to give the command to create the auth service, which is ng g for generate as for service. And we will name this service as auth. And as you can see, our auth service is ready. Now let's open auth.service.ts file. And in this file, first of all, we need to create a constant to store our basic URL. And we will name this as basic URL and we will set the value of HTTP localhost colon 8080. And after this, we need to inject HTTP client to make HTTP calls. So we will write private and we will name this as HTTP. And after this, we will mention HTTP client and we will import it from angular slash common slash HTTP. And after this, we need to write a method to call our signup API and we will name this method as register. And after this, in the params, we will accept signup request of type any. And after this, we need to mention the return type of this method, which should be observable of any. And in the body of this method, we will write a return statement and we will use HTTP and we will call post method because our signup API is post API. And after this, in the params, first of all, we need to give the URL. So let's use our basic URL constant. And after this, we need to give the endpoint URL. So we will use plus sign and we will mention API slash auth slash sign up. And after this, we need to pass the request body. So we will mention sign up request. And with this, the register method in auth service is completed. Now let's save this file. And as you already know, to use this HTTP client, we already imported HTTP client module in our app.module.ts. Now we need to call this register method from our register component. So let's open our register.component.ts file. And in this file, we need to create a new method and we will name this as submit form. And in this method, we need to call our auth service. But before calling, we need to inject our auth service inside constructor. So let's mention private and let's name this as auth service. And after this, we will mention auth service and we will import it from auth slash auth dot service. And after the auth service, we need to inject ng message service to show the messages to the user after the API call. So we will mention private and we will name this as message. And after this, we will mention ng message service. And we will import it from ng zoro aunt slash message. And after the successful API call, we need to redirect the user to the login page. And to do this, we need to inject the router. So we will mention private and we will name this as router. And after this, we will mention router and we will import it from angular slash router. And after this, let's go back to our submit form method. And in this method, we will use our auth service and we will call a method register. And in the params of this method, we need to pass the data of our register form. And to do this, we will use our register form and we will call dot value. And after this, we will subscribe the response and we will name this as res and we will write an arrow function. And in the body of this function, we will write if condition and we will check res dot id is not equal to null and if it is true then we will use our message service and we will call success method and for the content we will pass sign up successful and after this we will set the time of it to the five second and after this we need to redirect the user to our login page so we will use our router and we will call a method navigate by url and for the url we will pass slash and after this we will write else case and in the else case we will use our message service and we will call a method error 
and for the content we will pass rest dot message and for the duration we will set it to 5 seconds and with this our submit form method is completed now let's save this file and let's open our html file and in this html file on the submit event of our form we need to call submit form method so in the form tag we will mention ng submit and we will call a method submit form and after this let's save our html file and let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 4 to double hundred without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's test our register api call and in our browser we will click on this register button and after this we need to fill the details in this form and for the name i will give it as test and after this we need to enter the email so let's give it as test email at the rate gmail.com and after this we need to give the password and then let's click on this register button and as you can see we got the message sign up successful and we got redirected to our main page now let's go to mysql workbench and let's verify this registration and in the mysql workbench we will open hotel underscore db and then we will open the tables and after this we will view the data of our user table and as you can see we got new user with the id 4 and the email is test email at the rate gmail.com and the name of the user is test and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create login api call in our spring boot application